Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 23601. The latest build for the dev channel has a few interesting new improvements and also changes and fixes, which we're going to cover in this video. So stay tuned for that. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, Microsoft is adding new features and improvements for Windows 11 365 boot. We're going to have some screenshots to see how that is looking. Basically, we now have a dedicated mode for Windows 365 boot, which will help you log into your Windows 365 cloud PC from Windows 11 login screen using passwordless authentication methods like Windows Hello for Business. You're also going to see the customized company logo and name for Windows 365 boot, fail fast mechanism, and also manage local PC settings through Windows 365 65 boot. I think these are some pretty nice improvements. Of course, you're going to have more info about these things in the article below if you were interested in that. Also, Microsoft is adding improved disconnect experience for Windows 365 switch. You can do that directly from the local PC. Also, desktop indicators to differentiate between cloud PC and local PC for the switch and also handling of the increased connection time for Windows 365 switch to frontline cloud PC. More info about all of these in the article below. Microsoft is also improving the discovery of screencasting in Windows 11. Basically, when doing multitasking activities on your PC, such as often switching between windows to complete a task or using Snap Assist to organize your screen space, Microsoft will provide the suggestion to cast via a notification toast, and they also updated the cast flyout in quick settings with additional support for you in case you face any trouble discovering nearby displays, fixing connections, and more. We also have the new widget board settings, which can allow you to just show widgets on your widgets board and also make it easier for you to discover how to personalize your feed content and you can also easily switch between Microsoft accounts with this new widget board settings. Now something pretty important, starting early next week, Windows Insiders in the dev channel on build 23601 will be prompted to reboot to install Windows Configuration Update KB1234567. Windows Configuration Updates are what Microsoft uses to new features via the controlled feature rollout and this will not enable any new features as Microsoft is testing the delivery of these updates via the service in pipeline and the reboot prompt to install them. After rebooting to install this update, it will be listed under settings, windows update, and then update history. And you're going to see it here. Microsoft is also trying some new features related to Windows Copilot. They are adding a new undock button, which will let you move the Copilot section around the screen. And you can also resize the window by clicking and dragging the edge of the Copilot window if you want to adjust the width of the Copilot window. And Microsoft is also trying out a change where swiping from the right edge of the desktop on a touch display will open Copilot instead of notifications. Regarding Windows Share, the Windows Share window now supports sharing with WhatsApp under the Share Using section. If you don't have WhatsApp installed, you can choose to install it from Windows Share window directly. Over time, Microsoft is planning to try out this experience with other apps as well. Regarding nearby sharing, Microsoft is introducing the ability to quickly give your device a more friendly name to identify sharing to and from with nearby share under Settings System and Nearby Sharing. So I think this is pretty interesting. And as you can see, you have a character count of 16 and some other info related to renaming your PC. Related to narrator, narrator users can now use voice access to open applications, dictate text, and interact with elements on the screen using their voice. Narrator users can use voice access to give narrator commands using their voice, for example, speak faster, read next line, and more. Also, in the settings app in system and recovery, you're going to notice that Microsoft is re-enabling the fixed problems using Windows update option. Reinstall your current version of Windows, where apps, files, and settings will be preserved to see pretty interesting and useful thing that hopefully we will see in the main release soon enough. Microsoft is also adding the new notepad update in the dev channel. Basically, this new notepad update allows you to see the total count of characters you have in a document. And if you select some text, it will say the count selected out of the total amount, which is pretty interesting. And also, we will now be able to directly edit files using notepad, right click on a file, and you're going to have the new edit in notepad button, which will allow you to quickly edit something in Notepad. We're also getting the new Microsoft Store update, which will allow you to install something as you browse. As you can see, when you hover over an app in the home page, you get this new pop-up, which will allow you to download and install apps really easily. Also, a new dedicated page for instant games and improved performance.
performance while browsing in the Microsoft Store. Let's now talk about a few fixes, for example, related to Copilot. Microsoft fixed an issue that was causing full screen apps to minimize on secondary monitors when launching Copilot. Also, Copilot will no longer rearrange or push your desktop icons when launched. Regarding the start menu, Microsoft fixed an issue causing the recommended section to appear blank for some insiders. Related to File Explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue impacting Explorer.exe reliability. Related to the taskbar, Microsoft fixed an issue where uncombined taskbar icons were cut off the title instead of adjusting with the title length. Related to Task Manager, when creating a dump file for a process, the dump file location should be selectable now so you can copy it out and finally related to settings Microsoft fix an issue where if you go to system and then nearby sharing it was crashing settings there are also a few known issues in this build related to widgets for example a loading delay or some announcements for Microsoft start feed that are still shown on the taskbar after the feed is hidden you're gonna be able to see the list of all that in the article below if you're interested so this was the latest build for the dev channel the build 23601 I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was emmanuel from tech base until next time have a nice day